Mic check. Yo, what is good, everybody? This is episode one of the Mindset of a Hustler podcast. Yo, this has been in the works for a while now. Uh, myself, Miroslava, I've been talking about doing this for a really long time. So you're not just going to see me on this podcast. She's going to be on there um, sharing her wisdom and wealth of knowledge. And we're going to get some, you know, special guests and everything out here. But man, it's just, it's been a long time coming. So we pre appreciate everybody's support and uh, being patient with us. But we're here now and we're going to hit the ground running. So uh, first of all, I just want to say shout out to Adrian, um, the Real Age Beats for making that dope intro music that you guys heard. Um, really dope individual, one of my good friends. I've known him for a long time. I asked him to make that for me, and he came through, man. I really, I really love what he did. So um, thank you, Adrian, for that. And uh, man, we just been wanting to put out more content and more, you know, more ways to reach people and just kind of share our message and just share who we are. And um, just to give you guys a little bit of what to expect from this podcast, um, we're definitely going to be sharing some useful tips and tricks on how to improve your life, improve your mindset, and really just teach, you know, the things that we didn't learn in school, because there's so many things and aspects of life that we never learned as we went through the education system. And I think it's kind of fucked up that they did that to us, but, you know, we get to a point in time where we start asking questions and we start learning a lot about ourselves and how things work. And we start asking questions and we start learning some more of this stuff. So, you know, we def definitely want to just share those insights with you, the things that have helped us out um, and the things that have helped our community out. So that's what we're going to be doing. And um, we really want every episode to have an action step so that at the end of each episode, you, you're you not leaving wondering, oh, what do I do now to, you know, implement this into my life? So we want every episode to give you an actual, tangible um, useful information that you can go out and then apply to your life and actually change your life for the better. So that's kind of the goal. We obviously want to be very positive and upbeat with everything that we're doing. Um, we don't really believe in motivation because motivation is so um, short term. You know what I mean? How many times have you listened to a motivational speech or seen a speaker and you're hyped up, you're jazzed up for like uh, all of 24 hours and then after that leaves, you 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 go back to your old ways. So we really don't want to motivate you. We really just want to get you the tools necessary to actually change your life. And last but not least, we, we don't want to bullshit anybody. You know what I mean? We're never going to give you advice that we either haven't used ourselves or haven't you know heard from ultra successful people uh, of what they're using and implementing in their own lives. So we're never going to bullshit you. It's going to be no fluff. Um, but yeah, we're just going to try to keep it real with y'all and, you know, learn and grow together. It's, it's strange times that we're living in now. It's 2020. So if you listen to this, you know, five years from now and, and just Google what happened in 2020, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. But um, anyway, what? why this podcast? You know, why should you listen? Why, you know, take time out of your day to listen to something like this? Um, times are changing for sure. Definitely, to say the least. And um, the things that used to work in the past really aren't, you know, working now. And the things that we've been taught to make us successful really aren't, you know, what we're finding out to really make us successful and happy in the long run. You know, when we go through school and high school and college, they tell you, you know, go to college. After you graduate, get a good job, work there for 20, 40, 50 odd years. When you're done, save up enough money and retire and then actually do some shit that you might want to do. And, you know, if you're like me, you're just like, you know, that formula does not sound like the formula for success that I want for my life. Why would I waste the best years of my life working for somebody else or doing something that I'm not passionate about? You know, and I think us as millennials, we've started to realize that and realize that the, the success path laid out for us by, you know, people in society really isn't what we want to do. And so if that sounds like you, then this podcast is definitely for you. This community is definitely for you. Um and I also believe that development is so essential in anything that you want to do. You know, we preach here that mindset is 100% of anything that you do. 100% anything that you do, whether it's your relationship or your business or whatever the fuck you do, your mindset comes first. Because without the mindset, you know, 
everyone's teaching a skill right now. Oh, how to make money online, how to do this, blah, 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 whatever. But if you don't believe it and see it first up here, it's never going to be tangible in real life. So we teach that mindset comes first. You learn how to master your mindset and all the little habits and fundamentals that make you successful as a person, then your outward environment will show you that success. So I guess uh, a good way to start this podcast off is to just talk about how we got started and what we're about. And uh, again, it's myself. I'm Malcolm Wye. I'm the founder. Um, I work with Miroslava Rangel, who's basically my right-hand woman. She does, man, so much. I, I'm so thankful for her and appreciative of her. But uh, this all started um, back in college when I, you know, graduated. I played football in college. I played football my whole life. And just to let you know, I'm telling you this story um, just to kind of give you uh, a background of, you know, where it, it'll come together in a minute. But um, yeah, I played football and basically my whole life, you know, I thought I was going to go to the league. I played in a small D1 school at University of Northern Colorado, Go Bears. And um yeah, I thought I was going to play in the league like everybody else who plays in college. And one day came to the realization that that's probably not in the works for me. You know, I had a bunch of knee problems I was dealing with. Um, not only that, I wasn't even the best player on my team. So <laughs> what made me think I was going to go to the league, you know what I'm saying? So um, after that period of time, I really fell into a slump. You know, I, I, had, I had been one person my whole life. And then out of nowhere, I had to... I was basically cut off from who I was. You know, I lost my identity. You know, being a football player, that's how I introduce myself to people. Like, yo, I'm Malcolm, I play football, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sure some of you can relate, like what you do, that's how you introduce yourself to people. That's the first thing we ask people when we meet them. Oh, what do you do? And uh, I couldn't say I was a football player or athlete anymore. And so I fell into this really, you know, dark time in my life where I didn't know who I was or what I wanted to do. So again, I just fell back into what society tells you to do. So I got a job real quick. Uh, I moved into a house with you know my girlfriend at the time uh, and a couple roommates, and I started working. And I was making some really good money out of college. You know, I was making um, uh, like fifty thousand or something like that, which may not be a lot to some of you. It might be a lot to some of you, but for me, it was you know a lot of money out of college. And uh, I was working like 60, 65 hours a week. Um, getting my paychecks, getting paid, you know, have my own car, blah, 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 whatever. I thought I was cool. I was living in my own house. And uh, one day it hit me that, like, I was so unfulfilled and that I really wasn't doing anything that I love to do. And I fell back into that slump because, you know, I never took the time to think of, like, where my life was supposed to go from there. You know what I mean? And so um, luckily I had a good support system and people around me who were just like, yo, why don't you start reading more and start um, you know, just researching life and whatever. So I stumbled across, you know, a video here and there, a book here and there. I started reading more than I ever read in my entire life. And I just started realizing there's so many aspects to success that were never taught. And it all starts with your mindset. And so one thing I've always wanted to do was start a business. And so, you know, I was like, well, maybe I'll do something. Maybe I'll do this. But I didn't know where to start. And I didn't know, you know, I didn't believe in myself to do it enough. So I just stayed where I was at. And then one day I got a call from my mom. Uh, I was at work and she was like, um, your brother, who's not that much older than me, if you know him, um, she said, your brother is going to have to have open heart surgery because he's got a blood clot in his heart and in his lungs. And, you know, we flew out to San Diego for his surgery. And I'm lay I'm watching my brother, who's like eight years older than me, laid up in a hospital bed fighting for his life. And I'm thinking to myself, like, if I were to die today, what would I have to show for it? You know what I mean? Like his life hangs in the balance. And I'm thinking about obviously one, him making sure that, you know, he's going to be okay, but reflecting on my own life as well. Like if this were, if our roles were switched, would I be comfortable with dying right now? You know? And that's kind of a, um, a sad way to put it, but that's just what I went through in my head. And so I got back home and I quit my job. Um, I decided, you know, if I, if anything's going to change in my life, I'm going to have to change it and I'm going to have to do something different. So I quit my job. Uh, I called up my friend who owned his own business at the time and I asked if I could work for him for free. And he was like, nah, I'll, I'll pay you a little bit. Um, so that was good. I learned the ins and outs of owning your own business from somebody who was doing it themselves. And I realized, like, this is not that hard. Like, I can do this if I wanted to. So long story short, um, things didn't work out with that um, opportunity. And so I just started thinking like, 
all this stuff I'm learning, not everybody learns this stuff. You know what I mean? All the stuff I'm reading about, not everybody learns it. So there's got to be people out there who want to better themselves and learn about their mindset and improve themselves. And I just had to find them. And so it became my mission to then find more people who were like-minded as me and who wanted to, you know, better themselves. And so we had our first meeting, I remember. My mom had this, uh, she was running her massage stu her massage therapy studio. She had a little office and I acted like the office was mine. I invited like five or six people in there and we just talked about, you know, mindset development, mentorship, business, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, five people came to the first one and I was like, all right, cool. And then I was like, well, let me see if I can do another one. So I did another one and maybe like 10, 15 people showed up, right? And then I was like, all right, cool. You know, just getting more momentum, more momentum. I was like, let's do another one. By the fourth or fifth one, we had probably 50 plus people in a room and we're teaching them, you know, the stuff that we had been talking about, how to become a better person, you know, like that. And so I realized, you know, we could turn this into something bigger than what we're currently doing. And that's where kind of mindset of a hustler was born. So we are a... Um, a business based on just helping people, mainly millennials, just become the best version of themselves that they can be because we've been fed lies our whole lives about what success looks like and how to obtain success. And so we just wanted to be that go to place for people to come and learn and grow as a community and just, like I said, become the best version of themselves that they can be. And since then, we've done some pretty incredible things. Uh, we've done our, our hustler talks which is our little version of a TED Talk where people come and share their experiences with people, just normal, everyday people. Um, but I say all that just to say that, you know, we're passionate about this stuff and uh, we're going to keep going from here on out with more content, with more things just to keep people, you know, um, on a path to betterment. And so uh, with that being said, I guess we'll get into the first lesson of the day. Um, you know, it kind of ties into everything that we talked about and that's, why is your mindset so important? Like, why am I so passionate about mindset? And I already kind of touched on it before, but your mindset is so important because look at it like this. We're all born with a blank slate, right? When you're born, you're not born with any hatred. You're not born with any fear. You're not born with anything. If I ask a five-year-old what they want to be when they grow up, what are they going to say? They're going to say, I want to be an astronaut or I want to be a fireman or blah, 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 whatever. I want to be a musician an artist, and then somewhere along the road between when they're five years old and when they, will say 15, 16, 17, all that shit goes out the window. So what happened? Like what, you're still the same person, right? What happened between five and 17 or 18? We get into society and society starts feeding us our mental, our mentality that that's not a viable option that's not a viable road to go down that's not realistic right and so we start getting that those thoughts in our head and so why is your mindset so important if you have these negative thoughts in your head that's telling you you can't do something then what are the odds that you'll do that thing you know i believe that everything is created twice in life the first creation is in your head and the second creation is out in the world so if I'm looking at this microphone that I'm talking into right now, somebody wants to, you know, I'm gonna create this object where um, you, you speak into it and it goes into a computer or whatever, however the fuck it works, and it amplifies your voice or the sounds that go into it. But before this can be a microphone, someone has to picture it in their head. Now, if they picture it in their head and all of a sudden they're hit with, oh, no, I can't do that. I don't have enough money for that. I don't have this for that. I don't, I'm not smart enough to make that. Then this microphone never comes into existence, right? And it's the same thing with our lives. If we go into a situation and we are already thinking, oh, I can't do that. Or, I'm not good enough for that. I don't have the skill set for that. Or I'm not you know, pretty enough or you know, have enough money for that then automatically we're destroying the first creation and it'll never be, it'll never be, you know what I'm saying? So your mindset is so important. And if you ever take the time to just look at the thoughts that you think on any given day um, without judging them, and this is kind of the essence of meditation, right? Just looking at your thoughts and seeing uh, 
what kind of things you think about on a daily basis and what kind of things trigger the thoughts in your head. So I guess the best action step for today would be, you know, look at your thoughts and analyze your thoughts and see what kind of thoughts that you have. Are they mostly positive or are they mostly negative? You know, when you want to do something that you've never done before, is it something negative or positive? Is it empowering or is it pulling you back? Is it saying, yeah, push forward or is it telling you, no, nah, ease back a little bit, right? Because our minds are designed to keep us alive. They're not necessarily designed for us to thrive unless we train it to be that way, if that makes sense. Basically, what I'm saying is you can't have the success without the mindset. And, you can't, and that's in any aspect of your life. The mindset has to come first, and then you'll see it in real life. So that's why I believe mindset is so important. You know, take some time out of your day to just look at your thoughts that you have on a given day and, uh, you know, make note of them and see, you know, are they either empowering you or are they pulling you back? And so with that being said, oh, man, that was episode one. I would just like to say, man, thank you again for everybody for tuning in. Number one, for supporting our mission. We're going to keep going with all full steam ahead from here on out. Um, if you have not done so yet, please sign up for our free motivational text messages. We send those out every morning, first thing in the morning, sent by Miroslava herself. She handpicks them, selects them, writes them out, and sends them out by herself. Um, sign up for that. You can go to www.mindsettexts.com um, and sign up for that. It's 100% free. Um, and then, you know, if there's a topic you want us to cover, let us know. You know, we're here for y'all. We want to talk about things that you guys want to talk about. And whatever's going on in your life, we want to know about it. So uh, we don't want to keep these, you know, kind of short because we know people ain't got all day to be listening to hour-long podcasts and shit. I don't want to do that shit myself. But anyway, again, let us know anything you want to, you know, if we can improve or a topic you want to learn about, let us know. And then the last thing we're going to do at the end of each show is we're going to play some music. We believe that music is you know, something that touches everybody in a way that's empowering if it's the right music. And so I believe in music. I'm a huge fan of music. At the beginning of this episode, you heard J. Cole, who's one of my favorite artists. Uh, we want to play some local artists. So our first song is going to be Handle by At Ease and Trey O'Neal, two of my very good friends. Um, it's a really dope song, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, with that being said, that's it. I'm out. Thank you all. Have a great day. Peace. Ever since a youngin had a passion, I was running deep inside and I desired to be the best me. Solid in his eyes, I was never satisfied, but looked to the pride cry when he left me. Everything's forgiven, cause they taught me I was living in a cycle and the end would only stress me. Feelings to the side, throw a shout out to the sky, cause I know this on the daily that he blessed me. So this for everybody that ain't never been a part of this. <laughs> you can call it quits. And sorry to myself for thinking there was something wrong with this. But I was trying to get the flawlessness. Building up a legacy to show my son and daughter this. Don't care if I slip and fall in it, I put my heart in this. And ain't no stop unless you pop it with a lot of hollow tips. Artists is shaking their heads while they biting on some rock while ish City going wild, I don't know why they don't acknowledge it. Shooting at a brother, son, and father, and you proud of it. Firing up And hating has been a lot of this, <laughs> a whole lot of this. But it's not my fault you can't handle me. And everything that I bring, so don't give me the blame, cause you can't handle me. Guess that's the aim of the game. You throwing dirt on my name, cause you can't handle me. So why should I have to change? All because you can't handle me Such a shame, such a shame But it's not my fault you Old can't Old tell me I should say nigga less Young niggas tell me I should curse more Only a few say keep doing you Cause they know what I'm doing all the work for I done felt the pain from the times I was lonely But betrayal really hurt more 
Bite the hand that feeds you, they be saying that they need you till you pull up with the plate and they be asking what the fuck for. I done reached out and seen a couple backs turn. How the hell I fall back into deception? Devil trying to take me out, praying that I make it out. All I need is God in a minute of my reflection. Took a little bit of testing, letting life be the lesson. I niggas digging in for the blessing, but take a look back. I was living broke without a compass, no sense of direction. Started sending prayers instead of a middle finger every time that the DPD rushed past. But not for the cops, praying that the black body don't drop from an officer gun blast. Got a couple partners that'll never see their kids grow, all because they didn't duck fast. Cause people love to hate you, that's why I keep a hand on the pole. But I never had a bus pass. Trying to rebuild the community, never rush that. If I ain't with my niggas and I'm dolo, you can trust that. You felt pressure, so you cut class. I felt pressure, now I cut glass. Diamond in the rough, black orchid about the concrete. So why they getting iffy with the kid is beyond me. Making power moves, cause the future is behind me. Strong like Tommy, boy, it's time to untie me. Nothing in the world got the words to define me. Kicking in the door, this is war, don't deny me. If you got itch to try me, you can find me. People on my back, love, please get them up, me. No, I won't change. They call my name. Don't need more pain. They want me. My face in the dirt, all my face on a shirt, I won't stop here. Mama need her a brand new crib. It's not my fault, you can't handle me. You can keep all the hate, I've been signing no say, cause you can't handle me. Guess that's the aim of the game. Such a shame, such a shame But it's not my fault, you can't handle me And everything that I bring So don't give me the blame Cause you can't handle me Guess that's the aim of the game You throwing dirt on my name Cause you can't handle me So why should I have to change? All because you can't handle me Such a shame, such a shame But it's not my fault